welcome back to my channel all these times where i teach marriage relationship counseling problems and solution in marriage dating adverts for ladies and gentlemen who want to get into marriage i also teach you how to take train your children i also have food on hair tutorial in my channel I want to use this opportunity to thank all my new subscribers. You are highly welcome. Always do not forget to press that notification button so that anytime I upload a video, you can be able to watch it. You are highly welcome to this time. Now, I want to take to a topic that says reasons why the government take your children or if you are in the UK or you are in Germany or you are any part of the European countries the reasons why the jam the the government always collect your children I will first of all start from we ourselves always check your children's hygiene make sure they take their baths make sure they put on clean clothes especially when you have a daughter's tummy you people that have young children check their ears check their eyes check their mouth before you take them to daughters because the schools the doctors the social workers the kindergarten all of them work together here in any European country you are concerning children. So another thing, make sure that you take your children early to school. And if it's the time closing hour, make sure that you pick that child. Don't just take more than five minutes to pick that child. Bring the child early and take your child back from them early. Don't ever come late. If even though you are you are a working mom you are coming late just call them tell them please i'll be five minutes late inform them before you go so another thing is if they're having any activities in the school parents meeting try to attend even though you don't have time please some of them i communicate to whatsapp can communicate through your whatsapp with the teachers or you call them inform them i cannot make this i cannot come to this meeting please send me your protocols so that you go through the protocols and know what is happening in your child's school try all your best to attend the parents meeting it's very very important make up times and make sure that you don't if you are married with your husband please don't go and start doing full-time job it's not good here you are alone try to take part-time jobs so that you also take care of your children how you're taking your 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 work as your priority take your children also as your priority here in germany if you are married your husband is having full-time job please try take part-time job if they are not grow up you cannot take full-time jobs as a mom take part-time jobs so that you can combine the taking care of your care of your children and also working the people they also look at those things i'm telling you another thing is family disputes if you and your husband people that's married is having a family matter family disputes please not in front of your children go to your bedroom Go and settle your matter because anything that happens, they always ask children at the school, "How was your weekend?" If it's if they go to weekend, if they come to Monday, they ask, "How was your weekend?" You go travel. How was the home? You know, children they give birth in this European country. They always open their mouth to say everything. Please, if you are having this put not in front of those kids, try all you can not to have this put in front of your kids. Please, it's very, very important. This is what I'm telling you. So the next <clears throat> point is, do not leave your children if they are under seven alone in the house. 
do not ever leave them alone in the house it's very very at risk if the neighbors find out they might call police for you and it depends the kind of neighbor that well, that's what I say. if anywhere you're looking for apartments check around the place and looking for apartment because the neighbors can put you into trouble it depends the kind of neighbor you are don't leave those kids if you are under seven make sure they're a little bit eight nine then you can be leaving them in the house alone and if you are leaving them in the house alone make sure you lock your kitchen so that they will not wound themselves those dangerous things take them up please I know that in this Europe, we are alone here. You don't have families. You don't have help. People that you are, that is asking you, maybe the, the, you are in Germany, the Germans that are asking you, let them help, render you help. Or you are in UK, you let them render you help. Or you are in Italy, let them render you help. Be careful with those people. Some Sometimes those people are the people that implicate you. They are the people that go to social workers to inform them what is happening in your house you have to be very very careful with those social workers they send to you be careful what you say in front of them be careful even the helpers they send to you be careful what you tell them and eventually if they collect your children please don't say anything just go and look for lawyer for yourself. Follow them legally. Because anything you say, you can implicate yourself. Better look for a lawyer that will help you in this issue. I have a I there's one case I want to tell you people. Like there's one but somebody I know the the lay white lady was not taking care of those kids. So she decided that she wanted to go and give back to the social people social workers so they called the father is a black man do you know that these people have to give this man they have look at the man is a very responsible man they have to give this man his children do you know till now these children are still staying with this this black man they are all grown up the mother goes to visit these kids if you are a responsible mother you take care of your kids you take your children as your priority they will not take your children from you. They will not take your children from you. But if you are that kind of mother, you leave only your kids in the house, you are interested in party, working, you don't have time for children, then be ready. They will take your children from you. And be careful. Sometimes your neighbors, they always go to the neighbors, ask them what is happening in your house. The neighbors know. They, they can also ask the kids what is happening. Sometimes the children also implicate you at the house in the school. So be careful. Try to be a responsible mom. And stop giving birth to children. You see a woman, five men. Is having, you are having five men, five kids. In one roof. How do you come? Sometimes I sit down and I think, how do you combine that kind of thing? Five children from different five men. How do you combine that kind of thing in one roof? So you just bring that to your children. This one is from this man. This one is from what is shit. Please stop this kind of lifestyle. Change it. That's one is a topic of another day. Another thing is um, look for part-time work. As I said it, don't go and take full-time work so that you can take care of your kids. Please, it's very, very important that you do all these things I said. And if you're going to doctor's control, check your children very, very well. Their nose, their ears, their skin, and stop telling them, how, maybe you made a mistake, they did something, stop being, they did something wrong, you said, I will beat you. So those kind of words stop it maybe that child goes outside we start telling the people that my mother said you will beat me if i do something wrong maybe you have not beat that child that's so what you just say with your mouth sometimes all these words can implicate us and don't ever use you you try to use slippers or or your 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 sticks to touch them or say you want to hit them stop this kind of 
in Europe, no, you don't do this kind of thing here. You have to prevent all these things, I'm telling you. If you want to discipline a child, there are some ways to discipline a child without, without raising hands on them. You can, those things they love, you seize them. Or you move the Y5. Here, we have protection over children. There's law abiding it. You dare not try it. Please. You dare not. If they take your kids, follow them legally. Don't implicate yourself. Look for a lawyer that will guide you through our dark seasons. They collected your child. And be careful the kind of people you bring around you. Some people, they will be pretending as if they want to render you help. But they have something at the back of their mind. Be very, very careful the kind of people you bring around you. They can implicate you. Please, if you have any question, please write at the comment room. I'll be very, very happy to answer you. Try to be a responsible mom. Try to be a woman. They are builders and not destroyers. Don't use your own hands to destroy your own home. Be your own home. I know it is very, very stressful living in this Europe concerning the bills that we pay. But it is when your kids are small, take a part-time job. You plan with your husband if you're married. You do part-time job. Take care of your kids. If they are not grown up, you cannot take full-time jobs. But you are taking full-time jobs, your husband taking full-time jobs. Nobody, nobody is having time for those kids. If you come back, you want to relax, you want to rest for the, and renew yourself for the next day. But if you have part-time jobs, when sometimes you have free days, you can be at home, take care of them, wash their clothes, give them their meals. If you have holidays, please plan your holidays. Take your kids to holiday. Do not come to Europe to walk and die. Take plan your holiday. Take them to holiday. Those those experiences they don't forget it. It's always in their brain. Take them to holidays. Don't overwork yourself in this room. You want to build mansions in Africa? Please take a day off. Renew your strength. Renew your mindset. It is very very important. And you people that always the the. The agency will call you, say, come to this or come to, you are rushing to go and work because of money. Sometimes he's saying no, you must not always say yes, you want to take the work. You yourself have to prioritize your own children. Make sure that you take care of those kids. They are your God's given gifts. Take care of them now that they are, they are young. So when they grow up, show them the way they should go. So when they grow up, they will not depart from it. But if you combine yourself with work, with the from six days in the we have in a week six days, the whole, seven days in a week. Sorry, the whole these seven days you work, you thought you don't have three days. It's very very bad. Try at least in these seven days to have three days off, highest two days off to take care of your sick children, and your family, and your husband. We are having too much divorces in this generation because we are we are on to working, 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 working without taking care of our kids. If you go to prisons, you always see black children full day. You ask them what are they there? Where are the parents? That means you will not take care of them when they are when they are young to teach them the way they should go, when they, they should take, when they grow, they will not depart from it. Let us be builders and not destroyers. God help us to build our home. This is the home that you are. You are God have already ordained this home by himself. So ask God to give you strength, wisdom, and understanding to guide these children so they will not depart from that way God said that they should go. Please subscribe to my YouTube, YouTube channel and please don't forget to press that notification button so anytime I upload a video, you can be able to see it. May the peace of love be with you all in Jesus' name. Amen. Bye.